I think the first step that every parent needs to take is to start caring because um, this ideology cares about your children, whether you care about this ideology or not. Um, so y you have to understand the enemy that is at the gate. Um, and you guys have a little bit of an advantage because we're five years in the future and we're sort of yelling back like, all right, these, these, are, the, <laughs> these are the lines that you just cannot allow them to cross. Um, and to me, I mean, I think the number one thing, which is probably one of the hardest things is you cannot seed the language. Uh, you cannot allow them to to call it gender affirming care. It is mutilation. It is chemical castration. It is not gender affirming care. Um, yeah, we underestimate use... the power. The left are very yes. good at the linguistics, yes. right? Yeah, and it's in all their theory and all their yep. political science stuff. It's like linguistics, language, 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 language frames yep. the debate. Yep. Language frames yep. culture, language frames everything. So we have to jump on the language, right? As soon as you see the language, yeah. you've got to go, hang on, I don't call it that, I call it this. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it, it's very hard. This next suggestion is very hard, but I think it's necessary. Don't see the language on the pronouns. Dylan Mulvaney is a man, call him a he. Do not use the he, she pronouns. Our media, even a lot of conservative media will use the preferred pronouns and do not let them alter reality in this way. Uh, you know, the famous expression from Ben Shapiro, the head of the Daily Wire, who published our book, facts don't care about your feelings. Yep. Keep that in your heart, like jot that down in the front page of your of your you know weekly planner. Facts don't care about your feelings. The fact is Dylan Mulvaney is a man. The science is on your side, anywhere from anatomy to biology to you name it. If, if Dylan Mulvaney, God forbid, dies tomorrow and we dig up his his uh, his bones and his skeleton in 100 years, we'll be able to identify him as a man. And it doesn't matter how he felt. The reality is Dylan Mulvaney is a man. And so I would Well, Dylan Mulvaney's really idea of wom womanhood has also come under a little bit of criticism from feminists yeah. as well. I mean, yes. the idea that yes. womanhood it's means so carrying on like a 12-year-old girl, you must find mm -hmm. that a bit yeah. offensive as a woman. <laughs> I, I find it offensive, but I also find it disturbing. Um, this is a sexual fetish. It's not just a sexual ideology. It's a sexual fetish. And this is a man who... Um, finds pleasure in rolling around pretending to be a prepubescent girl. That should set off some real uh, danger signs and flags and flares and warnings. And, um, you know, we're called bigots for saying that, but there's a lot of really disturbing elements in this ideology. Um, and people need to call that out because this fetization of prepubescent womanhood um, is dangerous for young girls. And we yeah. need to say that. Yeah, yeah. There are uh, a lot of people who I think are having their goodwill uh, abused here. Like mm -hmm. a lot of yes. people who don't realize that by, you know, they think they're doing the right thing. They think they're being tolerant. They think they're saying the yes. right things and, and being respectful and everything and being inclusive. Uh, but in actual fact, what underlies some of this for some not, not, yep. not for everybody, but for some, uh, is pretty dark stuff. Uh, yep. And we need to bring our awareness to that. Um, yeah. And we do need to stand up and, and go to the schools and say, listen, we're drawing a line here. This is enough. Yep. Organize a small group or something if you feel, yep. you know, not comfortable doing it yourself. But get yep. those parents that you talk about this stuff with on the side together and collectively yep. write a letter and all sign it or collectively go mm -hmm. and have an appointment with the principal and just yep. say, look, we and are And pull your kid pull your kids out of that health class. They're your kids. Pull right, them out. Right. Say well, this members is not, of unions you know, in the workplace, get together and, and talk to your union uh, or yep. get to get a group together. If you're not in a union, um, uh, get together and go to your boss collectively rather than individually yeah. and just say, hey, we're a bit concerned that this is going a little bit too far. So, yeah. um, I mean, there are ways to, to do it. There's also ways that things can be done anonymously uh, these days on social media. I mean, you can campaign anonymously. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I, use some I would, of these tools the left use against them. Yeah, I, I, I suppose, but I think that people need to be brave enough to put their names on it.